to draw attention to this situation. We, it can't just be left to go. We've already lost one child. Not one more death. This is what a collective of different citizen committees across Quebec are calling for after a young Ukrainian girl was killed in a hit and run walking to school right here in Montreal's Ville Marie back in December. Parents, students, and safety advocates marching and demonstrating Tuesday in front of more than 25 schools across the province, demanding concrete measures when it comes to safety surrounding school zones. There have been some tragedies lately and uh, it's brought attention to the fact that really uh, we're not paying enough attention to uh, the safety of, of people who are getting around by foot. Montrealer Carol Ann Gascon says she's left with no choice but to safely accompany her 10-year-old son, Arnaud, on his walk to school. Les élèves, ils devraient... Students should be safe when they go to school. I would like the cars to respect the rules so that we can be better off. Banging pots and ringing bells is how protesters sounded the alarm on the urgency of the situation. La Presse reports the SPVM found during the first nine months of 2022, 39 pedestrians were seriously injured in road accidents, an increase of 56 percent compared to 2021. We see every day with the radar that the, all the cars go already fast and uh, with, the, with the case with Maria, uh, we already see it's, it's, it's really dangerous, so we here to support. This was the scene in Montreal's Ahuntsic, in Saint Laurent, on the South Shore in Longueuil, and in Quebec City. Uh, we're seeing momentum uh, across the province, so we're, we're you know, a fortunate event in last December in our in our borough, but it's leading to a, a great momentum on, on changing things around our schools. The city recently announced that they're working to secure at least 50 schools and daycare zones this year. Many demanding immediate measures are taken, like adding speed bumps and changing traffic directions. We need to safeguard their right to get to school in safety. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.